now for the fun part. One of the last stages is paint. You see I picked up what's called smoke gray. I had gloss black. That's what I was going to do the base. But uh, I'm afraid it's going to look a little too tacky. Uh, 20 bucks for a guy holding. Here you go, sir. Thank you very much. No problem, buddy. I love it. Have a good day. Wow. That was not the stage at all. Just pulled out a Canadian tire and there's a guy there with the backpack on holding the sign saying that he's broke. I never like passing along by anyone, by someone like that. I know I understand that it's really easy to judge. Uh, especially, I mean, sometimes you, you see people standing out there with nicer backpacks and boots and jackets and than I ever have, but you just, you never really know the circumstances, right? Maybe they, uh, maybe they have really nice gear. Maybe they were living, you know, living well and, and, uh, perhaps a couple weeks ago, bottom dropped out of the world, lost their job. And some people, it only takes a couple weeks and they're on the street with nothing. So you just don't know. I'd personally, I'd rather give and for the sake that uh, I guess just to clear my conscience, for the benefit of the doubt, I'd rather give. I think it's always better to err on that side. Anyways, as I was saying, smoke gray uh, is what I chose. I was going to do black, but I was afraid, I'm afraid it's going to look a little too tacky. So I was looking around. I can't seem to get uh, anything close to the original color. It's like a a maroon purpley color. The closest I can get is a purple and I know that'll look really silly. So I've been looking at a lot of different planes and uh, I've been seeing a lot of bodies that are like a dark sort of a dull gray. So that's what I chose to go with. I think it'll look good. I think it'll look really good. So just on the way home here now let's get to the fun work. <sighs> Seems super solid. It is finally paint time. We're all taped up here and we're ready to go. Okay, so I just finished opening this up. So before everything was sitting on top, but now, see that washer inserts nicely. That nut sits way down in there. I wanted to leave a little bit. That's just enough there now to get a socket on there, or a wrench, and to tighten it down. favorite parts of all the projects I do. It's when I finish uh, anything wood and I get coated in oil. I don't use linseed. I use uh, mineral oil. I find linseed is that more expensive. The handles turned out nicely. Let me get you a little more zoomed in look here. So you can appreciate it a little more. were uh, originally clear coated and a lot of the clear coat was removed over the years uh, just from use 
but some patches still remain. But uh, so it took a little extra time to get get that off. But well worth the time. Now before I wipe off the excess, I'll just let it sit right here and soak in for a minute while I apply one to this one. Look how beautiful. Oh wow, just look at that. Look at the color, how rich that is. See the inset there that I made for the bolt, for the nut and washer? Oh, that is beautiful. Extremely excited. We're getting down to the, the aesthetics portion. These will look fantastic. Sitting high and proud on that hand plane. There it is guys, complete finished product, full restoration of the Stanley Bailey number 6, and I mean a full restoration too. All the screws, every one was uh, sanded and mirror polished. This setup here is completely custom, mirror polished, you can see this is the top of the bolt I done a mirror polish on then I mirror polish that nut too just so it's a nice gives a nice custom or at least factory look it looks like it's made to be there doesn't look out of place the handles all redone very nice mirror polish the uh, knob there I cleaned it up all fresh paint fresh edge as you just saw I thought about really sanding this down and doing a mirror polish, but I decided against it. I'll leave it with that grainy uh, and a little bit of pitting look. Well, it's not bad. Handles turned out beautifully. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This was a huge uh, project. By far my most challenging project so far. A lot of work. I've been working at it pretty well every day for about four or five days now. Just not morning till night or anything, but if you liked it, please click the like button, comment down below any questions, tell me what you think. Subscribe to my channel, I'm sure this won't be the last restoration you see. And we'll see you in the next video.